Hello, my name is Mike Snelson with Parkway Business Solutions and wanted to take a minute today to talk about uh, a little fix we came up with we thought was really neat and wanted to share regarding 1099 subcontractors. Uh, if you've been in business for any length of time or an accountant or bookkeeper for any length of time, you're familiar with the problem of collecting W-9s at the end of the year for 1099 subcontractors and you've probably got some system going for capturing W-9s uh, in a more timely way during the year. Typically to do this, you've got to create a report showing the client or for yourself uh, for who you need to capture information from. And uh, in QuickBooks Online, they've, that's a little more difficult. In desktop, you were able to create a detail of who uh, was going to receive a 1099. And in QuickBooks Online, that's virtually impossible. So we came up with a workaround I want to show you today. It goes something like this. Uh, what we've done is we went into the settings for the company and under our lists of classes we create a 1099 review class uh, put a little star in front of it so it's easy to recall when you're doing individual transactions so we create that that class then uh, we'll come over to when we're doing monthly weekly monthly review of uh, their information the accounting information we'll go into an account that we believe might have a vendor who is going to receive a 1099. So in this case, we're at a profit and loss for the year, and I've gone down to equipment repair, where there might be some vendor who could probably receive a 1099. And in the process of reviewing their books for the month, I come in here to this transaction. And at the class level for, uh, for this vendor, I'm just going to hit star. There we go, 1099 review. And then I'll save and close. And now I'm tracking that class for, uh, for that vendor. Then what I'm able to do when, it, when I've got that type of information for individual transactions, um, I can then go into a different style of report under uh, all reports here. And I'm going to do an expense by vendor summary. Then uh, in my customizations, I can come in and I can total by classes. And when I'm doing my classes, I only want to look for 1099 review. Then I'm going to run the report, and now I have the individual, I can have more vendors, but I have the individual vendor with their total for whatever my time frame is. Um, and you can rename the report like 1099 review or whatever else, but this gives a really succinct way of pulling up data on vendors who maybe potentially need a W-9. What's also great is that if you go back to that customization, you had more than one vendor, you could do um, ascending order of value and run that report again. And now you can see in an order basically where your $600 uh, limits have been reached for any individual vendor. Um, hopefully this will <laughs> pull this report back up for us. But uh, that's the general idea. Uh, using that expense by vendor summary combined with 1099 classing to create reports uh, custom to reviewing 1099 vendors. So hopefully you find this information useful. Um, again, Mike Snelson, Parkway Business Solutions, and uh, something we just really wanted to share. Anyway, thanks for listening, and uh, have a great day.